So you wanna know if you can charge your electric car off-grid with solar while running your house? The short answer is yes, but there is a longer answer. I'm gonna get into that because unless you have a massive system, which I do not, you're gonna have to balance your loads and what you're running at the time that you're charging your car because it definitely could overload your system depending on how many amps you have going to it. So basically I have a Nissan Leaf uh, electric car and I have a couple of chargers over my house. I have a 50 amp charger, which I'm only gonna use that when I'm using my own grid power. And I try not to use that when I don't have to. And then I have a 30 amp charger, which is just for my solar. And I try to use that anytime my car needs to be charged during the day when the sun is out. I think with my 30 amp charger, I'm pulling about 3,800 watts. And I have 15 kilowatts of inverting power with my three grow watt inverters. And I have about 12.2 kilowatts of uh, solar. Uh, my solar array is about 12.2 kilowatts. There's several things in my house running right now, probably the dryer, different stuff. You know, my inverters can definitely get up there up in the four kilowatt, five kilowatt range, depending on how much stuff I have running while charging my car. Biggest thing you got to do is make sure you don't let everything come on. You don't want your oven on, your stove top, your dryer, your water heater. You know, if you're running one of those things and then your air conditioners, then hey, it's gonna be pretty much maxed out. So you don't wanna turn another one on because your water heater might use 4,500 watts or 5,000. Your oven, you know, might use two or 3,000 and your stove top might use 1,500 to 2,000 a piece. It's about balancing your loads, but it definitely can be done. You can also do this at night if you have enough battery power and storage capacity to charge your electric car back. But at this time I only have 20 kilowatt hours of battery storage. So I'm definitely not trying to charge my car at night off of my solar. I'll just use the grid if I have to, if I've been driving my car around during the day, but wasn't able to charge it. Say a lot more than 50% of the time I'm charging my car off of solar. If you're charging your car off of solar and you're trying to run other stuff off that system that you want to use a charger, that's just a little slower. You know, you don't want to use 120 volts or whatever. You want to use a 240 volt plug. And that's what I use a 30 amp, 240 volt. And I think it's about 3,800 uh, watts that's going in off of that charger. I have another charger. It, I think it does about 6,500 uh, watts an hour. So you definitely don't want to use that if you're running a lot of other stuff. Now, if you have nobody at your house during the day and it's just you and you're not running a bunch of stuff, you can probably do it. Depends on your equipment and, and how many inverters you have and all that. But if you have a DIY system, you're probably not gonna have 20, 25 or 30 kilowatt hours of power out of your inverters. You know, most people kind of try to have the minimum that you need to have to run what you have. And if you want more details about this whole system, you know, I can definitely break that down for you. So just let me know down in the comments below. If you like these kind of videos, hey, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and thanks for watching.